SEMA show isn't really like a judged car show, but the products that are brought out are judged by a special committee, and some are given awards. And today I'm here with Kyle Fickler from Aeromotive, and you've got a wall full of awards. Yeah, thank you, Kevin. Uh, SEMA 2015 has just been huge for us. And the, the nice part about the, the new product awards breakfast is literally the first official event of the show. So the show starts on Tuesday at 8 at 8.30 a.m. Tuesday morning. You know, we've already had a huge show, and the show really hasn't kicked off yet. Yeah, so. right, your winner's right out of the gate. Winner's right out of the gate. And, you know, being a competitive by nature, that's just that's a good way to start a week, because you know it's going to be a good one. Uh, yeah, well, everything about Aeromotive is from racing heritage. That's very true, but, you know, we've expanded beyond that. I mean, we're known as a drag racing company, but we're really much more than that. And the, and the products that we won awards for that uh, this year are a good example. And we have everything from a, a diesel lift pump, so now Aeromotive's really into diesel performance. So we also won uh, best new racing and performance product for our Terminator line of pumps. Now what makes Terminator special for us is it's a range of pumps. It's not a single skew. And we take steps along the way, 16, 19, 21, on up to 34 gallons a minute. What we're really proud of here is this is a market that we didn't want to divide the pie any more than it already was. What we've done is we've brought in, in terms of the porting of the pump, the function of the pump, what we've done with the body, just to keep the gear set lined up, uh, maintain tolerances uh, or clearances as the pump's running. It's actually been quite an engineering challenge. Uh, a lot of people would probably underestimate how or the complexity of what happens in those pumps because it is strictly a mechanical pump. You don't have any electric components to worry about. Very proud of how that turned out. And it's, it's a line that you will see grow both directions. We believe you'll see smaller versions of this pump in the future as well as larger versions. Uh, once again, another racing product. We have a, a brand new for uh, 2016. NHRA is mandated EFI for pro stock cars. So we jump in with an all new aeromotive product that integrates technology from our diesel pump as well as our pro series EFI fuel pump. Uh, and then even uh, more interesting, more of a consumer product, a low pressure regulator. Everything we've talked about has kind of been on the high pressure side. Mm -hmm. Then we come in with a new deadhead low pressure regulator adjustable from two to five PSI. So, you know, you have diesel performance, hardcore drag race, and then something for a street rider, or, you know, potentially an off-road guy. That's pretty interesting. Now, over the past several years, Aeromotive has been becoming more of uh, a fuel system solution for street driven cars. I know you've had kind of drop in fuel systems for race cars for a long time, tanks and pumps and stuff, and now we're seeing that more for the street cars, but now we're saying also for diesel. Yeah, because it, uh, you know, there's, we have been in the diesel market, but kind of by accident. The diesel world had taken our automotive product and adapted it to their needs. All right. Yet what we knew was there were still ongoing problems with uh, seal issues, with competitors' products, seal issues, uh, inability to pick up all the fuel out of the tank. You know, if you always need to run more than a quarter of a tank of fuel just to get your, you know, your existing lift pump to work, yep. there's an opportunity for us to engineer something that solves that problem. That's what we did. Hmm, pretty cool. So, pushing the envelope in applications and in capacity and in weight reduction, how did we end up with a good old-fashioned low-pressure carburetor regulator <laughs> at the same time? It's funny you mention that. I mean, we've seen uh, Con pressure control at 3 PSI is, is actually more difficult than 90 PSI because well, the imagine. delta difference. You know, a half a half pound swing at 3 is much different than a half pound swing at 90, even really probably greater than a 3 or 4 pound swing at 90. Sure, right. but at the end of the day, if you're in a Jeep, if you're off road and you're close to vertical and you've got a low pressure carburetor on there and you want 3.5 PSI, 4 PSI, that's our goal to keep that regardless of the altitude or attitude of the vehicle in that instance. Very cool. So you guys are going in all kinds of different directions. You've known the company for a long time and we're very much engineering driven, but to keep our engineers challenged, we have to find consumers and markets that, that have issues that need to be resolved. So sure. you had mentioned solutions based, that's very much what we are, but a lot of times that solution means it needs to be a complete system. And a fuel system is just that. And it's, uh, we emphasize that strongly because from the vent to you know the power plant, you have to have it all working together. Yep. Well, that's awesome that you guys do the homework so we don't have to. And, it, and we enjoy it. It puts a smile on our face. Yeah. Well, so does winning awards. Congratulations and excellent work. Thank you, Kevin. Yep, thank you.
people think drag racing when they think of Aeromotive, but Jared, you guys kind of put feelers out in different directions when it comes to your fuel systems that you engineer. What's this one all about? I see the, the yellow and the cat logo. Yes, uh, we've been um, researching and developing a new product for the diesel market. Uh, we've been hit up over the years to come up with a diesel specific product, and this is, this is what we have launched here at SEMA. Now we're talking just consumer level diesel trucks or bigger stuff or? Uh, bigger stuff uh, and consumer as well. Um, we've done C15 cat, you know, class eight tractor trailer stuff, um, you know, Duramaxes, 2500, 3500 series trucks and, and so forth. Right on. So what'd you come up with? Uh, we have come up with a complete system uh, for the 01 to 10 Chevy Duramax and the 08 to 10 uh, Ford Power Stroke. And we've also just uh, wrapped up uh, completing the six liter power stroke kits as well. So what you see is a complete design from tank to injection pump. What was the problem people were having? Uh, there was a lot of problems <laughs> that, that people were having. Um, they were having quarter tank issues okay. where the fuel would get down to a quarter tank. They're, they'd have a stumbling problem, fuel, you know, fuel delivery issue, and that was because of just a draw straw or dip tube dropped into the tank with no baffling. So to, to, to solve that issue, we borrowed basically from our Phantom line sure, yeah. and put in a, a nice three-quarter inch uh, baffled dip tube assembly. So now this will suck the, as much diesel out of that as basically possible. Correct. As opposed to sloshing around and missing the pickup tube. Correct. It, 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 you will be able to pretty much empty the tank and drive it down to zero. Which we do when towing. <laughs> Not that we like to, <laughs> but when you see that needle going and it's like 200 miles to the next exit trying to get here. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, to help with that, um, what we've seen on several of the uh, beta and prototype installations is an increase in fuel mileage. Uh, we've seen every, everywhere from uh, two to a three mile per gallon increase. Now, how would you, I mean, where would you attribute the increase to? Uh, the increase would probably be to the, uh, the positive head pressure that we're providing to the injection pump. Not only is it, is it providing a positive pressure, it's clean, it's free from air contaminants and debris. Yeah, yeah, so in a typical stock system, that pickup tube, the fuel moves around and it's kind of like trying to suck through a straw with a hole in it. Correct. Uh, we, we wanted to alleviate all the potential uh, restriction in the system, hence the three-quarter inch pickup tube and pretty much an industry first of using the J2044 style connectors in the 5 8 larger diameter. Yeah, so this isn't a garden hose for the display. I mean, this is the size you're using. <laughs> what you see is what you get. This is a, a, a kit that would you would open up the box and pull out. This is everything that you would get. Very cool, and I know when the stock system goes down, to replace it with the stock stuff is a very pricey repair. Uh, it is a very pricey repair. Uh, I know some of the, the newer vehicles are um, having uh, injection pump failures. And when those fail, it takes out your injectors as well. Yeah. Uh, by pr providing a nice, clean, positive head pressure to these, you can somewhat alleviate and take the strain off of these components and hopefully possibly avoid or prolong the, the need to have a costly repair. Sure, right on. Well, it's great thinking, and it's it's great to see that you guys have done the homework so that the consumer doesn't have to pick and choose the parts and uh, innovate all over the place. Very cool. Yeah, correct. Well, great job, man. Thank Excellent. you for showing it to us. Appreciate it. Yep.